Hi there, welcome to this first example of rotating a point through any angle around the origin. In this case, it is anti-clockwise. So, determine without using a calculator the image A accent obtained when the point A, which is negative 5.5, is rotated anti-clockwise about the origin through an angle of 240 degrees. So, obviously, they tell us not to use a calculator, which means that we are going to work with special angles. But let's start with our formula. We know that the transformation rule of any coordinate x, y, that is transform in an anti-clockwise direction, is given by the following formula x cos of theta, where theta is my angle of uh, rotation, plus, uh, no, sorry, uh, the first one is negative, y sine theta, that is my x part of my coordinate, my y part is x sine theta plus y cos theta. Okay, so that is my transformation rule, and I'm translating at 200, uh, rotating, I mean, at 200 and 40 degrees. Now this I know off my head and I would encourage you to do the same if it was in a clockwise direction we would have just made the angle negative because it's in the opposite direction and then you see this sign will change and that sign will remain the same but this sign will change. Okay so let's go ahead and substitute what we do have. So we have now that x was negative 5 cos of 240 Okay, minus y was 5 sine of 240 degrees. Okay, that's the x part of the coordinate. For the y part, we have x negative 5 sine of 240 degrees. And plus y is 5 cos 240 degrees. Okay, so we can see we have y. Uh, so we've got cos 240 and sine 240. Now that can be changed into angles that are positive, acute, and simple. So let's do that. Okay, so negative 5 cos 240 is 180 plus 60. So this can be 180 degrees plus 60 degrees, which I find in my quadrants. This is 180 right there, plus would be in the third quadrant, third quadrant, tan is positive because this is my cost diagram. Tan is positive which means this will be uh, cos 240 will be negative cos of 60. So this will be cos of 60 but a negative must multiply the negative 5 in front so negative 1 multiplies the negative 5 to become positive 5. Okay sine of 240 same thing it's 180 plus 60 tan would have been positive sine would be negative so there's a hundred uh, sorry, there's a negative 1 multiplying the negative 5, so this be also becomes plus 5 sine of 60. Okay, then for the second part of the coordinate, we see the same thing. Sine had a negative come out, so that was would become positive sine 60, and cos had a negative come out, so that is negative 5 cos 60. Okay, if I say negative comes out, it doesn't really mean that. Okay, but... Uh, we're going to look at the previous videos to go and figure out what I then mean. Okay, so now we substitute in our special angle values. Okay, so cos of 60, we go and draw our little uh, diagram that's going to help us to do this. There we have 30, uh, 45, and 60 degrees. We start here with 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, and we take the square root of that. Square root of 0 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 2 is square root of 2. Square root of 3 is square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay, that was the x coordinates. Now for the y, we start on this side. Okay, for y, we start with 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 there and we take the square roots again square root of 0 is 0 square root of 1 is 1 square root of 2 is square root of 2 and square root of 3 is square root of 3 and square root of 4 is 2 okay so this uh, quarter circle has a radius of 2 and each one of this this is now 60 degrees 45 degrees and 30 degrees okay and each one of them now represents 
a triangle with an x and a y coordinate. Okay, so to do a cos of 50 degrees, sorry, 60 degrees, I've got 5 times cos of 60. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. In other words, x over r. So 60, x is 1, r is 2. So that's cos is a half. Okay, plus 5. Sine of 60 is y over r. So that's square root 3. Square root 3 over 2. And that's for my x coordinate. For my y coordinate, 5 sine of 60 we already said is square root 3 over 2, while uh, cos of 60 is a half. Okay, and now I simply simplify. Okay, write it without a calculator, they said. So we're going to write all of this as a single uh, number. So we've got 5. Uh, 5 halves plus 5 times square root 3 halves. So we've got 5 plus 5 square root 3 over 2. Okay, that's the best I can do with that. And this one is just uh, 5 square root 3 minus 5 all over 2. Okay, that was me simplifying this and that's how easy this question is it's really just substituting using our special angles well simplifying to positive acute and simple and then using special angles and simplifying using uh, normal algebra well I hope it wasn't too fast and I didn't lose you somewhere along the way but in the next couple of videos we're going to do a few more difficult examples so if you didn't get this one please watch it again or post questions I'll chat to you later then cheers